Yeah. Happy Monday, guys. Comes around once a week, I guess. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Had a busy one myself. Um, there's my hat. Uh, we got uh, this all dried up pretty good. Happy with it. Happy enough. Here comes the guard dogs. What's up, Moni? What's up, buddy? I'm um, going to paint the back here today, I think. Open up there's There's my real guard dog. What's up, Mater Man? What are you doing, buddy? Uh, probably wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> we, uh, yesterday, uh, Sunday, yeah, Sunday, had a swap meet um, about a half hour here from here, Sacramento. We, uh, it's the second year in a row we've gone. Last year we were there for about two and a half hours, walked around the whole thing. It's approaching 100 degrees, and uh, I had had too much fun the night before, which I try not to do anymore, but you know, it happens. Uh, walked around the whole thing, and uh, I actually had a little bit extra money and couldn't find anything. I ended up just getting my mirrors for my, my little rear view mirrors for my door. Um, so this year went didn't really have much extra money to spend this year but um, Since I started on this thing. I've been looking for a four barrel intake manifold for for the Y block and uh, Had a couple close calls couple hits uh, on uh, The hokey ass message board and eBay of course um, and Been outbid as far as I've gone as high as $200 on eBay and been outbid uh, more on more than one occasion so I kind of like not really given up hope but just figured it'll happen one day uh, I already had the carburetor um, a Thunderbird carburetor that I wanted to use for barrel so yesterday found it pretty excited um, it's a factory four barrel intake manifold it's what I wanted um, it's either off a of Mercury or a heavy truck uh, I don't, by running the number. Uh, that's what it comes up as. No real way to tell exactly which one, or maybe there is, but it's dirty, which dirty is not a problem. We can fix dirty. I'm getting good at that. Uh, no cracks. All the threads are good in here. Um, the studs are actually in good shape. And uh, yeah. Just gotta chase a couple of these threads and uh, clean it up good. We'll be in business. Uh, I might take it and get it hot tanked. I don't know yet. Uh, my dad has a my dad has a small blast cabinet that that'll fit in. I just gotta get new media for it, so we're gonna do I'm gonna do that maybe next week so I can take it over and beat blast it. But uh, when I got it, I remembered what's in this. That blue tote down here that's full of carburetors <laughs> that uh, need some love need some attention so maybe that'll get me to get those out and clean them up maybe rebuild a couple and uh, try and sell them uh, put a little money back in the project put a little cash in my pocket for the project for the truck Bobby so anyway I I was almost ready to dance when I found that thing yesterday. Like I said, it's been up to $200 that I've been outbid. And I got this one at the swap meet yesterday for 25 bucks. 25 bucks. I didn't even haggle. He told me 25, I couldn't get it out of my pocket quick enough to give it to him. So, it's good news. It'll bolt up to that. Y block that's underneath the, the sheet there. So, um, having found that, um, I'm kicking around the idea of maybe getting a cam to put in it when I uh, I gotta tell you the rear main seal leaks oil pan leaks I gotta take that apart um, valve cover gaskets of course are leaking so need to fix those so I'm I'm I think I might uh, I think I might get a different cam for it to put in there a little ISKI cam or something is good area so I'll research that before I put it in you know, it's, for me anyway it's a little easier to change on the stand than it is in the truck We'll see, or at the very least, I'll do it before I put the uh, 
put the front end back on, radiator support and all that. It's a lot easier without that stuff on there. But yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. Good news. Um, we're gonna paint this, and then I'm gonna track down my motor mounts, I think, and stick the, uh, put the motor and the tranny back in the truck for right now, more or less to store it, because then I can take the cab off I know I've talked about doing this I don't know how many times now, but I can take the cab off and uh, it will fit over in this area. And if I move a couple things, you know, this is on wheels. That's the engine hoist underneath the engine or the engine stand underneath it. It's the transmission and bell housing and stuff. And I have to bolt the bell housing back on. This motor is held in by a front plate right here. And then the back of it's held in by the uh, bell housing so I think we'll put that uh, I think I might put this back in the truck just to have it sit there while I work on the the frame underneath the cab and underneath the uh, the actual frame underneath the cab and then the underneath of the cab itself I think uh, I think that's what we're gonna do that's the plan that'll keep me moving give me something to do for a little while little more elbow grease trying to get a lot of the elbow the, the elbow grease done before it starts getting in the hundred and something team here and then another month and a half or so but uh, anyway I think I've rambled on long enough hope you guys all had a good weekend good Monday uh, for some of you guys Monday is probably almost over I need to check to see what time it was I got home from work a while ago kind of had a hard time getting my button gear today it's 12:15. Uh, so all right guys I've talked long enough. I've wandered around my garage long enough. Time to push uh, motorcycle out of here and get something done. It's windy again today, so I'll work with the door closed just so it doesn't blow too much crap into my, my awesome brushed paint job. But, uh, all right, guys, you guys take it easy. We'll uh, talk to you Got later. Got more done in here. I had the back part of the firewall underneath here. I didn't go into this area yet because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do there. Um, I always come back and do it later. But I did these. These are getting covered up with a gasket in the cover, so I went ahead and went in inside of there and underneath here. That's where the dimmer switch goes. So yeah. And then uh, my dirty motor. Can't remember if I showed it yet or not. Um, everything lines up. I do have to get a adapter. This is the a manifold so it was for the old teapot style carburetor which I don't really want to have to search out and find and use because everything I read doesn't recommend them you know which I know not everything's true on the internet but I already have I already have this one so this is a factory Thunderbird Come into the camera. Yeah, there you go, Ford. So I'd rather put a rebuild kit on that bad boy. Well, this thing's not wanting to focus today, is it? So I want to put a rebuild kit in that, clean it up good, and then uh, then make an adapter for this to go to this. So you know, I'm not I'm not looking I'm not searching for high horsepower or anything like that. I just want a four barrel on it. They run a little better with the four barrels not so lean and you know reliability and uh, you know four barrel looks better too here's the old one I guess they're all old but here's the there you go there's the two barrel intake carburetor so uh, we'll hang on to that I don't get rid of anything really so um, intake I'll hang on the wall carburetor I'll hold on to for, you know, in case I ever do get my dream of having a three deuce manifold for this or get a uh, a flathead to work on. It's good carb, so yeah. Anyway, mildly productive day. Still having a hard time getting my button gear, but I got some stuff done. I'll clean off my workbench. Good news is I've been looking all over the place for these the cartridges, filters for this mask, and uh, found them there underneath the blanket on the intake manifold. So uh, 
I don't know. I guess that's where everybody keeps their extra cartridges. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, all right, guys. Um, I'll load this up uh, a little later on this evening. Before I uh, go to softball practice, set it up, load up while I'm there. Uh, that's about it. Anyway, thanks for all the compliments, comments. Um, I got a couple. I, mean, I actually got a ton of messages. I got some kind of, I don't know what. I, I got a bunch of uh, spam messages on my YouTube. So I got to go through those and look for messages that are actually from real YouTubers. Um, that aren't trying to scam me out of anything or anything like that. So um, if I haven't responded to anybody that sent me any sticker requests or anything like that, I, I fully apologize. Um, I was really busy this week and I didn't really get on the computer. Um, I didn't even really watch. I think I watched two videos last night. I ended up just falling asleep. So anyway, if you guys sent me any messages or anything, I apologize for not getting back to you. Um, this evening I'll try to do that. If not this evening, tomorrow morning. Go through them. But uh, anyway, you guys be good. We'll talk to you all later. Thank you again.